I hate this game. I hate this game so much right now, you don't even understand it. I mean, you, you can't even see it! And it doesn't help at you unless you look at- what? So it turns out, I guess my game never did glitch. This is just a dumb Jinjo that's been placed really weirdly and I can't get it. Why won't it let me get it? Oh, that's not the down button. God. Get. 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 Okay, get off. Let's try that. Come on. Oh, it was so close! I never knew you could do that. You can do a sharp turn with R. I never did. I never knew that. Did she tell you that? Who cares? Whatever. I'll meet you guys back in freaking Glitter Gulch Mine. Hey everybody, I'm Meds, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui. In the last episode, <sighs> Jinjo. That's all I have to say. Except for that I also completed uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land. So that world is... Actually, I didn't complete it. I missed five notes somewhere. I'm going to have to go back and find those, but that's for later. And I, I just didn't feel... I mean, I, it probably wouldn't have taken me too long, but I just don't feel like doing it right now. So that's going to wait. Now, we're here in Glitter Gulch Mine, and I decided to look at the list of stuff that I needed to get, and turns out I never updated it past Maya Hem Temple. Go meds! So, I have no idea what I need to do. I know of one J- You know what, let's go ahead and check our totals. What do I need to get in here? Oh! Well, I'm glad I looked at the totals. So there's one Jiggy, one Jinjo- I know what the Jiggy is. One Jinjo that's somewhere, and one Honeycomb piece? Not sure where that is. I'm probably gonna have to- I don't know. Because I know it won't take me too long to get the Jiggy if I can at least, you know, remember where it is. Uh... No, it is that way, isn't it? Or no, it's this way. This is the way to go. Or not. Uh, oh, yep, there it is. Right up there. Now, if I break open this box, it should be, yeah, these. And then we go, whee! And Jiggy. Can I go in here? Well, then why is this like this? I want. Okay, whatever. Well, for the time being, I do know there's at least one more thing I need to get done here before uh, we leave. And maybe I'll encounter the both the Jinjo and the Honeycomb Beast along the way. I have a feeling I actually know what the Jinjo is, but I can't remember if I got it or not. Uh, there's one that requires you to come in from another world. And I don't remember if I ever got that one. I think I got it. But again, I don't remember. Do I go... Do I need to take the river thing? Is that what I do? Maybe. Let's see where it leads me to. I gotta stop having such long breaks in between the games. Okay, yeah, this is what I was looking for, I think. I hope this is gonna put me where I think it will. Okay, yeah, this is it. Uh, land. Okay. Uh... I see no Jinjo, nor Honeycomb piece. So... What I do see down here is this rock with a Kazooie face on it, underwater, and we all know that means Kazooie Torpedo thing, whatever it's called. So now, 
got that out of the way. Let's go see what's inside. Ooh, we're in Hailfire Peaks! And have massive slowdown. It's the ice key! Hole! We got the ice key! It, it, it's the ice key! Hole! We already had the ice key. So using the ice key that we got back in Jinjo Village... That thing is massive. Wow! You've caught the legendary Mega Globo! It's supposed to have really special magical powers! So we got a Mega Globo now, whatever that thing is. I mean, it just looks like a gigantic Globo. Well, that's gotta mean something good at least. Now... Uh... Which way... Do I go to get to where I think the Jinjo might be? Here. Oh, but I probably can't hear it. There was a Jinjo under there, right? I think there was a Jinjo under that water. And then these stupid TNT things. Stop it! I'm fairly certain there's a Jinjo. Yep, there it is. So that's the Jinjo I still need to get. And it requires me to come in from another world. Oh, I actually remember exactly where that is. I think. Hopefully. Maybe. I already knew which world, but now I think I remember how to get to it. And the honeycomb piece might be under there too. So we might have just came back here to get the Mega Globo. In fact, I think that's what we did. So I'm just going to leave it for now. And then whenever we come back... Uh, or whenever we get to that world that we need to get to and come back here, then I'll see if I can finish up stuff. Okay, so let's go to... I guess I'll just meet you guys back in Witchy World or something. Because that is the next place we need to get to. You know, I think I seem to recall that... Wumba wanted something like a Mega Globo or something. Let's see what she has to offer right now. Hey, Wumba, what do you want? Me much surprised. You have the legendary Mega Globo. Want to give to Humba? Uh, sure. Don't know what else I'm going to do with it. Sure, I'll just throw it in. <laughs> that thing is massive. Magic ready. Jump in Wumba pool. All right. What do we got? What? What? No. Mom will call this dragon, but what's changed? Kazooie now big heap dragon burn many baddies. Whoa! Sweet! Kazooie's a dragon now! Oh my gosh! I love the freaking Kazooie dragon because it's awesome and where's an enemy? Where where are they? There's one! Because you can go Blah! and they run away. Because they're scared. Goodbye, beehive! <laughs> Alright, now that we got that done, uh, I think I'll keep Kazooie dragon Kazooie around for a while. Cause I'm sure she'll help a lot with her dragon form and stuff. Also, she has, like, much bigger feet. Never realized that until just now. So, uh, what do we need to do in Witchy World? Nine Jiggies, two Cheeto Pages, three Jinjos. Okay. Again, it would probably really help if I remembered what I needed to do. 
I should probably, like, just run around these worlds sometimes before the beginning of the video so, so I remember what needs to be done. Oh my gosh. But why would I do such a thing? This is Budameds. We plan absolutely nothing. Uh, and this episode's going to be completely pointless because I'm running around in circles. Quite literally, actually. Uh... Okay, I don't need to do anything in the train station. There's... Where's the Cheeto page? I can't even think of where that could be. Maybe I missed it in one of the, um... One of the... The, 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 the... the whenever you're in the van, the money things. That. Maybe that's why... Or where I missed it. Um... I did the dodgems. I got the star at the top of the star spinner. Uh, I think that's all that's over there. I did. I beat Mr. Patch. Did I? Fairly certain I got the Jiggy in the Inferno. Because I think there. I think there's only one up there, and it's the one at the top. Um, the cave. Oh yeah, Kazooie's fire can also light up stuff. Just a little bit, but it helps. Actually, that helped a lot. Oh wait, no, there was a thing next to me. I think. But whatever. I'm thinking a lot this episode. Now that I'm leaving, it probably was in there, but I... I don't think I... I think I did everything in there. So, let's check the Inferno, I guess. Oh, I forgot that hurts, even though it shouldn't, because it's dumb. All right, the Inferno, and then there's these. I can go, wee. I'm positive I got these now because the guys aren't coming out anymore. Ah! Okay, I stand corrected, but I'm still positive I got this. Okay, I'm, I just wanna, I just wanna. Ha! Ow. Uh, how? I, I want to get off! Oh no! But I, I did get this jiggy because it's right there. Or would be right there, rather. Whoa! Ow! Oh no! Um, is the Cheeto page in here by chance? Because I think there's a Cheeto pad in here. Oh, I was supposed to press that. Oops! But it should show me the Jiggy, even if... Yeah, the Jiggy's not there. Okay, so I got that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was... I jumped, though, and it took away my jump. This game, sometimes. Uh, take care of this guy. What was he running from? I think I would be able to see it through here. Yeah, I should. I'm pretty sure that was a Cheeto page in there, but I got it already. So... There's nothing to do in here. I'm wasting so much time, it's not even funny. Ah, oh my gosh! Why can't I remember where this is? Okay, I got the high dive jiggy. There was a jiggy in there, right? Maybe it was just notes. There was something in there. And then I did both the things. So what's left for me to do? I am seriously confused right now. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot! Ah! Oh. Okay, I remember now. Because fat kid. It was fat kid. I don't know where he is though. Because he goes in random places. He could. Okay, first off, I need to locate him. This is the train, right? One of the places he can be is the train. 
I don't see him. Okay, where else can he be? Where else can he be? Oh man, I think he could be in the cave of places and not fun times because teeth and glowy guys. <laughs> That's the new name for that from now on. It shall only be referred to that from now until the end of time. Oh, and I'm out of health. Yeah, the, the fire doesn't really do too, too much. So, probably gonna have to use eggs if I'm not gonna be... Okay, never mind. I'll just stick with that guy. That's cool, too. I mean, hey, I didn't have to waste eggs. Uh, He's not here. Actually, I'm not even sure if he can be in here. He might be able to. Uh, you know what? Just kill me. Because I'm tired of being cautious and I need to get out of here anyway. So the last place I can think they could be is the Star Spinner. So let's go ahead and warp towards that direction. Uh, space Zone. That's what I'm looking for. And then... If it's actually here... Wait... Where did it start me? Okay, here's the start. Well, there's the wall of the star spinner, and here's the entrance. Okay, if it's in here, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem to come back and get. Uh, there's a Minjo. Well, where else could he be? Once again, I'm seriously confused. I know for a fact he's in here. Oh, he can be next to the Dodgem's Dome, can he? Maybe. Uh, I think he'd be right there. Let me check the other side. There he is! Okay. Alright. It's go time. Alright, so if you remember, he wanted us to carry him. But at the time, we didn't have anything to carry him with. But now, because of uh, Terry Dactyland, I believe, we have Banjo's, Banjo's little, what's it called? The, this. And then he walks funny. And he also looks really, really weird without a backpack on. That's like, I don't know. I never noticed that before. Maybe I have and I just forgot. I probably actually mentioned that. So for all I know, I did notice it. Anyways, come on, dude. Oh, don't make me get you a hamburger again. Okay, good. Too full to walk in there myself. Okay, whatever. It's amazing how he fit in there. And it's also amazing how the backpack only grew that much. Oh, I'm being stupid and pressing A. Okay, let's warp to the world entry and exit. And then his mom should be right... Oh, that's not the way I thought it would point me. Right here! What did I tell you about not running off? I'm sorry, Mom! Sorry isn't good enough, young man. You've been eating again, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounded kind of weird. Hey, wait, what? No, I didn't. No. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Think of it another side. What is happening? Hellfire Peaks, Boggy will be wondering where he we've gone to, but he better have dinner in the oven. Bye then! Thanks again, Banjo. Take this jiggy I found at the ticket office early. <laughs> okay, so that was a thing. I was laughing because it sounded funny that she said, You've been eating again, haven't you? Like it would like he can't ever eat. Like, he's forbidden from it, which I don't think he'd be, like, he'd really suffer from that too much. But, it just sounded funny. 
Anyways, uh, I have no idea how long this is gonna be because I cut so much out because I was being an idiot, but hopefully that's enough. So that's gonna be it for this episode. We got nothing done, and I'll hopefully be more prepared next time. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.